Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, or Little RV Specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2001 Chinook Destiny with 75,573 miles. Folks, here we are inside of this 2001 Chinook Destiny. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. So you probably know about the Chinook quality. If you follow our channel, we've got the one piece molded fiberglass exterior body. We've got about 74 and a half inches of headroom in the rear, 76 and a half inches here in this main part, and about 73 and a half inches here at the air conditioner. The air conditioner runs on AC power, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. Got fantastic fans here and here. Those run on DC, so your coach battery. These have the max air fan vent covers on them, so you can have these open while it's raining or while you're driving. Got AC power here, here, back in the kitchen, and up here. Also got DC power. Got switches for the little mood lighting on each side. Got day-night shades. Got a screen window on this side here. So you got a nice big portion here, nice big windows to be able to see out. A screen portion over here. This is our thermostat that controls the air conditioner and the propane furnace. Got a TV antenna crank there. You do not want to drive around with that TV antenna up. Got DC power here, switch for our water here. This ignites itself. A switch for some heated tanks. If you're planning on doing some cold weather camping, we'll double check those and give you some advice about that. So if you're interested in that, uh, let us know at the time of sale. We've got DC power down here below the dinette. We've got seven seat belts between the dinette and the jackknife sofa here. We've got two seat belts up front. So a total of nine seat belts in this unit. So plenty of room to be able to bring people with you. This is a power sofa. So this is gonna flatten out to make a bed. You can also drop the dinette table down to fill in this gap. And then these cushions and everything here will kind of make up another bed. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The dinette bed measures approximately 67 and a half inches north, south or front to back and 37 and a half inches east, west or side to side. The jackknife sofa bed goes down with the push of a button and measures approximately 75 inches north, south, or front to back, and 49 and a half inches east, west, or side to side. Got lots of storage space beneath the dinette. That hard surface flooring continues beneath there. Makes it very easy to keep this RV clean. Down here below the power sofa, we got our water pump and our fresh water tank. Got a little room here where you can maybe tuck a few things as well. Moving down to the kitchen area. Got our levels test here. It's got our holding tanks, fresh water, propane, and coach battery. The holding tanks and the fresh water are notoriously finicky, so don't always trust those. Push and hold this button to test that. Water pump on off that pumps the water out of the onboard fresh water tank that's beneath the power sofa. Got our hood light and fan here. Got some marks on the counter flip up here. Somebody set something hot on there. Got a three burner propane cooktop, standard microwave, got nice counter space here, these are Corian countertops, got a dual basin sink, some storage, a little bit of marking on this counter here, or this uh, piece of the cupboard. 
Got the Chinook Coke bottle opener. Got a little towel bar here. This is a counter extension, also a drawer. Fuse panel here. This has our AC breakers and our DC fuses. This is a nice cheat sheet. This has everything labeled so you know what's running on your shore power or your generator and what's running on your coach battery. Got a noxious gas detector. This is beneath the microwave. Got our furnace. It's a furnace duct to the right. A little bit of age on the front of the cabinet here. We've got a three-way separate fridge freezer. So this is a three-way, meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power plug-in or your generator, DC, meaning your coach battery, or propane gas. Recommend leaving that in the auto setting. Sliding drawers. And some little marking inside the drawer in there. Nothing much. Got my shoes off here. It's a little rainy today, but as you can see here in the entryway, we've got a screen door, a window in the back, a coat hook, a little flashlight holder, and the fire extinguisher, we've also got AC power down here. Nice big closet, got our awning center rafter and crank there on the left. Stepping down to the bathroom area. And it's gonna drain into the floor there. Got nice big bathrooms on the Chinook Destinies. Got an exhaust fan overhead and a light. Got a track there, you can pull a curtain around to help hold some water in. Towel bar, toilet paper, and we've got an actual porcelain stool on this one. Nice little counter space. Got this medicine cabinet here that's got some space for your goodies. Here we are standing in the rear of the coach. My wife asked if I'd seen the dog bowl. I said I never knew he did. Got our Onan start stop switch for the generator here. Got 332 hours, fresh service, fresh oil changed by our certified Onan techs. Got a bunch of other light switches here, noxious gas detector. Got a couple little screw holes here. Got speakers here and beneath. These play through this head unit over here. This also has a DVD player in it, so your DVDs or your music you play through here will play through these speakers. The TV itself, if you watch the air antenna, that will play through the TV speakers. Got this here where this used to be where the VCR was. We've removed that and our guys put in a DC charging station here with two USBs so you can charge your goodies in this little slot. Got a controller for our solar panel. Do have some room back beneath the dinette. Also on this side, got these buttons here and those are for this curtain. You can button this across the front to block off the cabin. We've got a inverter here. This inverts the DC battery power to AC power so you can plug in to watch your TV here. Got our manuals, nice big storage bay at the front. So all in all, we got a nice Chinook Destiny here. These are a really nice little floor plan. Got a nice bathroom, nice sleeping, lots of seat belts in this particular unit. Got that Chinook quality that we all know and love. I'm going to go and call this one an 8.5 out of 10. Check it out at Coon Truck and RV, truckandrv.com. The best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Here in the cabin area, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. Do you have some wear mostly here on the passenger seat? A little ding on the armrest. Got a nice clean carpet up front. Got those floor mats there to help keep it clean. 
same carpet here in the center. It's got a glove box. Our ashtray and everything looks unused. I'm not seeing a cigarette lighter in here. I'm not noticing any smells, burns, things like that. Um, mostly just the wear on the seat there. It's from age. Uh, so I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker, although it's tough to say for sure. We've got a thing here. This is gonna tell you when your doors are open. So if you open some things up on the Chinook here, these lights are gonna light up. Got some stress age cracking here from heat and things like that over the years. We've got our driving lights. Our vehicle boost start, this will jump start you off of the coach batteries if you were to run the engine battery dead. And start and stop the generator from up front as well as in the rear. And we've got our coach battery disconnect that disconnects the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. Also disconnects the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, the alternator while you drive, or the solar panel. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2001 Chinook Destiny. This RV measures 23 feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 4121 date codes. This Chinook is built on a Chevy 3500 chassis with a 7.4 liter V8 engine with 75,573 miles. Got pretty good shine left on this one. Still has lots of good looks left. Got some storage here. Got two coach batteries. These are for the awning legs. I prefer to run those awning legs directly to the ground. That way you can't walk through here and bust those up. Got pretty nice looking decals on this one too. So got lots of shine left. Got a little mark there and there. And it's also kind of hard to see, but there's a very faint scratch rub mark here on the fiberglass at the back of our refrigerator. Furnace exhaust, own in 4K generated as a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified owner techs. This does have dual rear wheels. Got our engine exhaust and our generator exhaust. Coming around to the back of the unit. Got a ladder for rooftop access. Got a backup camera. Got our step here. We got a tow package down inside there. Uh, right there it is. And we've got a storage spot here. This is where you raise or lower the spare tire. A little light. Didn't have time to check if these speakers work, but generally on the ones that these have worked that we've had, you're going to get better sound quality from a Bluetooth speaker these days. Got AC power outside. around to the driver's side got those max air fan vents up top those allow you to have the fantastic fans open while you're driving or while it's raining got our sewer dump got our gray is the smaller pipe and then our black you're gonna do the black first then the gray back of our water heater got our water compartment here we've got a black tank flush fill for the onboard fresh water tank city water or outside shower for kids pets going to the beach shore power cord we've got phone and cable tv in Got our fuel fill for our engine and our generator. Generator stops running around a quarter tank. A nice big storage bay here. Got a few little rock chips here or something like that. Uh, these are something you could take this to a body shop and they'll fill that in. You'll never know it was there. So all in all, we got a nice looking Destiny here. This one is ready to hit the highway. Ooh.